Hi, hello folks, uh, and thank you for joining me today. I have a special reading and an explanation, kind of, of a reading I've been procrastinating with. That um, a few weeks ago, before the Paralympics stuff came out, before the ceremony even took place, I had... Um, listen to Johnny's uh, little Spongebob missile thing and the money missile thing and all that you know and watched all that and I had prayed on that for a few days you know and I had actually at one point um, asked for a confirmation uh, regarding this scenario and where the Lord led me and I used the books as well I used the book the one book the King, old King James Bible. I've always used it. I used to do it a lot um, when I was younger, and I was really perplexed in situations. And also then during my time, when I did uh, my time, I had questions um, often, and it never failed that I would get the perfect answer. So that's when I, back when I was in prison, uh, is when I kind of learned really about the how the Bible is kind of a multi-dimensional living coded book and um, it, it it's a computer in paperback form and only a very few people understand what I'm saying when I say that but anyway so I had procrastinate because I pro I'm a procrastinator and I had actually gotten the urge or the you know uh, sense that I was uh, supposed to do a reading on that because cause he, okay he it's what he had given to me was Lamentations uh, Psalm 146 and then Lamentations and I was going to read those and put them on uh, my Freemasonic Knowledge channel and like here's the secret teachings of all ages that's the last one I did of Manly P. Hall and uh, I had been uh, neglecting that channel there but I was going to do those readings for that and I still hadn't gotten to it but it hasn't gone away it's been kind of you know nagging at me and so today I was um, you know praying um, and and I say pray I, I converse I, I just talk you know I'm, I'm not uh, all formal and ritualistic or ceremonial uh, in my prayers with the Lord I just talk to the Lord and uh, you know he knows me better than I know me so but anyway uh, and and I was picked up the book and and it was asking for confirmation whether I was actually supposed to read those or if those were just answers for me and uh, then so I had opened up he, it's what he did he gave me another reading and I'm gonna put that reading on this channel Sorry, I'm kind of rambling on, but I want to explain this, and I'm going to put the, I'm going to read the Lamentations and the song, other Psalm 146 and 47 and stuff on, put them on the Free Masonic Knowledge Channel. In the meantime, we're here, and it's what he gave me to read today was three Psalms, and then a request at the end of those Psalms, and. The messages of my last few days, basically since I started posting, since I started posting the red planet things, the the dwarf planet X or what, you know, whatever you want to call it, whatever object is up there, if it's just a heavenly sign, there may not be nothing up there but a, a corporal illusion created for those who can see it, who have the eyes to see in that spectrum. Um, because we, we, we live in our own reality bubbles, people. Literally, each and one, every one of our individual realities, we live in our own dimension. Uh, not dimension, it's not dimension, but it's 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 cube. <laughs> we live in our own construct. Thank you. And, um, the, you know, it's we can interact with each other and everything and everything, but really our experience here is is specifically tailored to us as individuals. Um, for our 
uh, development. Alright, so to continue, what I have been given today to read to you all, to start out with, with star, uh, Psalm 136. And we'll do it in the way, and on this channel, the way I do everything uh, here lately. And I'll show you just, I went to, I wanted to give you some visual to go with it. So I went to scripturetext.com or uh, biblios.com, uh, which is the most extensive uh, reference you're going to find out there um, for sure. It's, it's an awesome, awesome site. Um, anyway, so we'll start with uh, the Psalm 136, what he gave me. And I'm going to put out my cigar real quick so I kind of can do this halfway smoothly. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And this plays right into my prayers this morning too. Because I've been extra repentant lately as I think uh, all of us who are truly try to follow the way do and are at this period of time because we can feel it What's, uh, we can feel it anyway so give give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever give thanks to the Lord of God or the God of gods for his steadfast love endures forever give thanks to the Lord of lords for his steadfast love endures forever give thanks to him who alone does great wonders for his steadfast love endures forever to him who by understanding made the heavens for his steadfast love endures forever to him who spread out the earth above the waters for his steadfast love endures forever to him who made the great lights for his steadfast love endures forever and to him who made the sun to rule over the day for his steadfast love endures forever to him who made the moon and the stars to rule over the night his steadfast love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his steadfast love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them, for his steadfast love endures forever. With a strong hand and outstretched arm, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his steadfast love endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his steadfast love endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and the host, and his host in the Red Sea, for his steadfast love endures forever. You see who this battle is against, right? You see who the battle today is against, from previous uh, videos we have just posted. To him who led his people through the wilderness, who lead his people through the wilderness for his steadfast love does indeed endure forever to him who struck down the great kings for his steadfast love endures forever and to him who killed the mighty kings for his steadfast love endures forever Sihon the king of the Amorites for his steadfast love endures forever and Og king of Bashan for his steadfast love endures forever and gave their land as a heritage for his steadfast love endures forever. A heritage to Israel his servants for his steadfast love endures forever. It is he who remembered us in our lowest estate for his steadfast love endures forever. And rescued us from amidst that mine enemies, even though it says our foes here. <laughs> our, for our steadfast love endures forever. And for he who gives food to all flesh for his steadfast love endures forever and gives thanks to the God of heaven for his steadfast love endures forever and thank you for it does indeed endure forever and his mercy and his forgiveness so be not discouraged and we will move to the next one because I was instructed to include it and it is pertinent and relevant by the waters of Babylon there we sat down and wept 
when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung up our lyres, for there our captors required us of songs. And our tormentors, mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth. If I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Remember, O Lord, against the Edomites, the day of Jerusalem, how they said, Lay it bare, lay it bare, down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, doomed to be destroyed, blessed shall he be who repays you. With what you have done to us, blessed be shall he be who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rocks. And I'm going to actually, I don't like this. I'm going to read it out of my Bible right here in front of me, which I was reading before I looked up this stuff online. I'm going to reread it for you the way it should be read out of the old King James Version. <clears throat> Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remember Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows of the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us of mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue clean, cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Okay, you see how that says something totally different than what this uh, said? Yeah, it's, it's, anyway. So, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Okay, see, that's a lot different than lay it bare, lay it bare down to its foundations. No, this is raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. You can see how so much is lost in translation with these new translations. This is why you should always read out of the old King James. Them old guys, regardless of what you think their affiliations were in secret societies and stuff at the time, the times were different than they are now. And this is the last book that actually preserved the hidden knowledge within it. And it's all in the way it's worded and the words that are used. As far as this translation to English. Now, if you want to get better translations, of course, you have to go back to the Hebrew and Greek. But never mind that. Let us go on to 8. It's 137.8. It's, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Okay. So, giving the measure as thou hast deserved, Babylon, who is art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Okay. So, and with that, we'll clip over here, just for visual reference, to Psalm 138. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it out of my Bible. And I'll just leave this on the screen uh, for you. Know. Um, Psalm 138, Psalm of David. And it says, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple. And praise thy name for thy loving kindness. And for thy truth. Truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou hast answered me, and strengthened me with strength in my soul. And he did. Many times throughout my life, he has carried me like the old poem you see with the footprints, where Jesus picks you up and carries you. Uh, believe me, I, I know that. I know that. 
Anyway, all the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when thy hear the words of my, thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Do you understand? This is important. This is why I'm in instructed to read this to you, especially after the messages that have just been given out to you. Okay? This is what you need to know and remember. The very important verse right there. And the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me, thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Amen. The Lord created us, and he will not forsake us. The children of the Lord, the Most High, who have, you were given the choice to become, and are. There's still time. I'm not kidding. There's still time, but that's not. I'm not here to be an evangelist and try to sway you. That is in your heart whether you are going to hear the Lord's call or not. I'm not. A, I don't push that. That is not. That is not the true way of Christ. The way of Christ is not the way of the Catholic Church or any other denomination of paganism. Okay, and so anyway, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy. See, each individual, the Lord watches over your life. Your life is tailored, and he will protect you through all the trouble. Okay? Psalm 138. Don't forget it. And, before we leave off, because I don't want to make this too long, and actually because when I started to read it, I was told that this is for you. And for me. But I mean for you. A special this is not for me to read to you. I want you to go in your Bible. I want you to, even if you have to go on this site, if you have no other choice. But if you have a King James Bible, go read one Psalm 139. That's what I was told to say, basically. I mean, I'm not told. I don't hear voices or nothing. But, I mean, the Lord speaks to me through my life in, in ways, too. And today, when I prayed, this is what he what he showed me when I opened up the book and... and, and uh, this is what my uh, I don't even you, there's no word for it there's no word for it you either know or you don't you either hear like it says you either hear his voice which is not like a voice in your head it's not like voices are talking to you or manifestations it's not like that anyway it's like a different frequency that's what it is I mean literally you want to get quantum physical about it that's what it is it's a different frequency when he fixes your DNA he opens you up to different frequencies and lets you see stuff that you normally wouldn't and lets you it gives you a a uh, tentative contact it's a relationship that's the whole thing that's the whole thing about Jesus and his message was about having that being able to have that relationship with the Creator and that connection back through Jesus Christ so with that uh, like I said I'm supposed to tell you to read Psalm 139 for yourself because that is for you that is the Lord speaking to you alright folks and I thank you again for listening amen praise Jesus he is awesome Jesus is the man I'm telling you if you don't know him I, I pray that you you do that you get to that you seek him because if you haven't known him then yes you will have to seek him and you will have to show him that you truly want to know him and he will come to you he will show you he knows your heart better than you do with that my friends my friends and brothers and sisters, I thank you so much for joining me. And check that out. Look at that. Ooh, cool. I just wiped that little window out there. Ha ha ha. All right.